afternoon, Kapo Bayan uh, today. And, and so far, we we're finding out, as we've always known, uh, that filmmaking, if you want to get into this industry, you need to network, you need to hustle, and you need to follow your heart. And that's what two of our guests this afternoon, uh, that's what they are doing. Earlier, you met John Isaacs, uh, a director, and right about now, me, Dave Cecilio. He's a film producer, director, and writer from Baco or Cavite. And he's here in the States because he has a film that will have a special screening at the San Diego Film Festival. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Dave, tell us about your movie. Uh, what I was about. Uh, without its flag. So uh -huh. it's the evolution and the creation of the Philippine flag, semi documentary film, mm -hmm. and uh, it stars one of the uh, respected and award winning actress, Chinchin Gutierrez. Oh, wow. He, she's so good. She is. Yeah, mm. yeah. And, and, and is this your first film festival? Uh, yes, of course. Wow. Is this your fir first film? My debut film? Your debut film in, nice. in, in a film festival already. I know that it's difficult to get into film festivals, it right, John? It is. It's very difficult. What is the process? Well, I mean, you know, you, you, submit. you, you have to submit, and but, you know, depending on the film festivals you want to get into, there's certain criteria you have to meet. Uh-huh. You know, and uh, it's also expensive. It, it, it can be, it can yeah, be. You yeah, yeah. Because but you're campaigning for your film. Exactly. You, and you're trying to get exposure for it. You know, and trying to get the word out. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's, it's do you difficult. do you think um, it, was it easy for you? What was that experience like? Your first film, and it's already in a film festival. What was that experience like for you? Well, Making what I want. Well, at first, I I look for a genre that I think uh, which will be needed by most of our Kababayans and. I go with that because the genre, some other genre, it's historical film, so it's a kind of genre that others do not go. Ah. And so I rather go to that, which uh, seldom uh, oh, oh. taken. Para walang masyadong kalaban, ganun oh, ba yun? Yes, right. Yes, so right? Sila, into horror, into action, into drama. So I said, what about the identity of being a Filipino? So I said, this time it's about the flag. I like that because, yeah, we were talking about that earlier, horror as a genre, easier to penetrate, but also at the same time, historical documentaries or semi-documentaries it's a, because we always want to know what happened in the past right? That's right and that's what you're doing now I see that you're a film producer director writer is it easier to do all that because you have full control whereas earlier <laughs> with Hunter uh, Vampire Killer you're the director right. Anthony was a producer right. so division of labor mm -hmm. but so. with Watawat you did everything on your own I did. is wow. it easier or well at first the subject matter uh, thinking of which uh, what particular uh, uh, story uh -huh. and I said um, it should not be something like a um, for acting per se but basically the research so yes. I did a research, we did a lot of research and then of course pitched that to some you know who would like to help me funding yes and yeah. then eventually come up with a, a bigger market because I'll be dealing with uh, classifying it to be a general patronage right. so dealing with elementary high school and colleges yeah viewers right. yes yeah. so so okay I'm finding out that because you did this in the Philippines and you're doing your project here in the States that there right. are similarities in filmmaking wherever in the world you may be That's right. starts with an idea right. do your work research funding and all that yes what do you think are the differences is it easier in the Philippines is it easier here yeah well I, I think I think for me, um, it's easier because we are in LA and we are in Hollywood. So easier here, right? Because you uh, have access to studios. Right, actors. exactly. Yeah. There are good ones that are, right. haven't quite made a name for themselves yet, so right. they're it's willing e to. It's easier for me to reach out and meet someone on the street that also has the same passion as me. Right. You know, and I, I can co make uh, contact with that person and network with that person and get resources and whatnot. What about your experience? Well, since thinking of it, it's a, it's a grassroots thing, mm -hmm. so I, I go also for the kind of uh, audience or viewers who'd like to watch this kind of film. Mm -hmm. So uh, they're tired of watching also some uh, commercial. Yes. Yeah. So that they'd like to, especially the teachers, would like to provide their students the, the kind of, of film that they want to watch, and then they get, they provide the reaction paper and that. Right. And of course, uh, dealing with it is also knowing the culture. What type of film that they will patronize. You know, I like what you're saying also because you're Filipino, you're saying that it's easier maybe to do the film in the Philippines because mm -hmm. also you connect culturally. Exactly. Are yeah. there um, aspirations to do something, because right now you're in San Diego, mm -hmm. are there aspirations to do something here? And maybe for you, John, are there aspirations maybe to do something in the Philippines? 
Um, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Mm -hmm. You know, I wouldn't mind going back there and uh, doing a, a, even if it's a short little film. Yeah. You know, but I think it'd be nice to just kind of do something in the Philippines. Because you're also widening your horizon. Exactly. That, right? Exactly. And uh, Me too. I'd like to try also, like, for example, if, the, if, if my film is, uh, you know, patronized there, mm -hmm. and some Filipinos here would like, I mean, they're thirsty of the real background. Yeah. They, they need to go back to the, their roots. So yeah. uh, watching this film is something that they they can relate I with. I love this idea. Do you have a screener? I want one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was shown there already I don't want to drive to San Diego. <laughs> the uh, teaser. <laughs> Dave, uh, what are you working on next? Um, I, I just finished my uh, musico. It's about the marching band. Okay. It's a dying culture. Wonderful. So it's nice. about the drum and bugle corps and the majorettes, things mm -hmm. like that, because uh, chil school children in the Philippines are into high techs like um, computer, yeah. uh, Dota games, and. You know what? I love <laughs> that. I met some uh, filmmakers here. I don't know. If you should connect to them. They mm -hmm. did a movie, a semi-documentary. No, it's a documentary on the Harana. It's also uh -huh. a dying Filipino culture, yeah, right? Yeah, Serenading, yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank you so much for sharing uh, your thoughts with us today thank on you. the show. One more block. We're going to be talking now about how we can gather every everything and everyone together and help each other. And that's when we return on the show. Don't go away.